Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss a problem based on the Cauchy problem for a first order quasi linear partial differential equation. Now in my earlier video I have already discussed the theory behind the Cauchy problem for a first order quasi linear partial differential equation. Now in this particular video I am going to discuss a problem related to that. So uh, what we are given is the question uh, goes like this find the solution of the equation x u x plus y u y is equal to x e to the power minus u with data u is equal to 0 on y is equal to x square. Now this equation which I have marked as 1 this is a quasi linear uh, partial differential equation of first order. Here uh, we have that uh, u is a dependent variable and u is dependent on x and y which means that u is a function of x and y. x and y are two independent variables and uh, this is a first order partial differential equation because u x uh, which is the first order partial derivative of u with respect to x and u y which is the first order partial derivative of u with respect to y these two first order partial derivatives are occurring in the uh, partial differential equation. Also this is a quasi linear uh, partial differential equation of first first order because a general quasi linear partial differential equation of first order looks like this a u x plus b u y is equal to c. Uh, this general form I have already considered in my earlier videos when we were discussing different types of partial differential equations and when we were uh, discussing the Cauchy problem as well as uh, the method for finding uh, method for solving this type of equation the Lagrange's method. So in all these all the earlier videos I have already taken this form of the quasi linear partial differential equation. Now this particular equation which I have marked as one this uh, definitely falls in the category of uh, quasi linear partial differential equation of first order because uh, here uh, u x the coefficient of u x uh, which is a uh, in this case a is uh, x and uh, the coefficient of u y which is b uh, and b is y in this case and the terms on the right hand side which we have uh, uh, which we have written as c. So, c in this case is uh, x e to the power minus uh, u all these uh, should be functions of x y and u only these terms can be present uh, in these coefficients which uh, we can see that a b and c are uh, functions of these uh, three variables only x y u which which makes this equation a quasi linear a partial differential equation of first order and we already know a method for solving it. Uh, I have already discussed in my earlier videos that uh, quasi linear partial differential equations uh, of first order can be solved by uh, Lagrange's method or a method of characteristic or the method of characteristics this we have discussed in detail. Uh, but in this particular video I am going to uh, solve this particular uh, quasi linear first order partial differential equation subject to these two conditions. The condition is that uh, you are looking for basically what you what you want to do is that you want to find out that solution you want to find out that solution u is equal to u x y of this partial differential equation 1 which is not only a solution of this partial differential equation 1 but it also satisfies this particular condition that is when uh, you take y is equal to x square then u should come out to be equal to 0. So, this whole condition is uh, the initial condition this condition is called the initial condition this y is equal to x square this is the initial uh, curve and uh, this this value u is equal to 0 this this value 0 is the initial data. So, now when we were discussing the theory behind uh, the Cauchy problem for uh, first order quasi linear, e linear equation then uh, the, the initial condition the initial data and uh, the mm, this initial curve the initial data and the initial condition all were expressible in terms of the parameter t. So, uh, the in, if uh, if you go and have a look at that video you will you will be able to see that uh, there the initial curve c uh, was uh, written in a parametric form x is equal to x naught t and y is equal to y naught t where t is a parameter and uh, so this was the initial curve and then uh, the the this initial data uh, u is equal to u naught t it was like like this. So, uh, everything was expressible in terms of parameter t, but in that video also I had mentioned that sometimes uh, the, the initial curve, the initial condition, the initial data are expressed in Cartesian form as it is happening in this case. So, in this particular question we are going to solve the first order quasi linear partial differential equation. We are going to find out that solution of the first order quasi linear partial differential equation which is not only a solution of this equation, but it also satisfies this particular uh, condition which is the Cauchy condition which is uh, given in Cartesian form. So, now again uh, let me come back to the uh, partial differential equation x u x plus y u y is equal to x e to the power minus u. Now, because it is a 
uh, first order quasi-linear partial differential equation. So, of course, I am going to apply uh, the usual uh, Lagrange's method or method of characteristics in the usual manner that we do. And uh, what do we do in that? We write the characteristics, uh, characteristic equations. So, the characteristic equations the characters this is how you have to start uh, the method the characteristic equations of 1 are dx by the coefficient of ux dx by a this is a whatever is attached to ux that is x dy by b b is the coefficient of uy which is y in this case is equal to du by c whatever you have on the right hand side that is your c which in this case is x e to the power minus u let me mark these characteristic equations as two now you have to consider any two ratios out of this these characteristic equations and after considering any two ratios you have to integrate them to find out an integral and this process you have to do twice so let me consider the first and the second ratio ratio. So, consider consider the ratios consider the ratios dx by x is equal to dy by y on integrating after considering these ratios you have to integrate on integrating we get uh, here when you integrate you will get uh, log x here you will get log y plus some constant. So, I can write like this log y uh, is equal to log x plus constant this constant is the constant of integration or log y minus log x is equal to constant or you have log y by x is equal to constant just combining the log terms together raising both sides by e e to the power log y by x this is equal to constant and now this is equal to e to the power constant and e to the power constant is again a constant which is which I write as constant only and e to the power log y by x is y by x. So, y by x is equal to constant and this constant I am calling as c 1. So, this c 1 is a constant over here. So, this is the first integral that we obtain and we uh, are calling uh, marking this integral as uh, 3. So, this is the first integral that we have obtained by considering the first and the second ratio. Now, again we will repeat the process by considering uh, mm, uh, two other set of uh, ratios or by just manipulating the ratios and finding out another integral which is independent of this particular integral. So, I have written this down uh, this question again on a separate page so that I do not have to turn off the pages again and again and uh, the integral. Uh, so, this is the question that we are solving and the integral the first integral that we have calculated it is y by x is equal to c 1. So, this is the first integral which I have marked as 3. So, we will refer to this integral again and now uh, coming to uh, uh, again considering uh, now I consider the first and the uh, third ratio let us say. So, the first uh, ratio is uh, dx by x. So, just considering considering the ratios considering the ratios d x by x is equal to d u by uh, let me just check x e to the power minus u. So, these are the two ratios that I am considering I have just uh, written I am just jotting down everything on the paper so that so that I can refer to the calculations again I do not have to turn so that I do not have to turn the pages again and again. Now, uh, again this x and x gets cancelled out and uh, we can just write like this d x uh, is equal to e to the power u du and now on integrating on integrating we get just integrating x is equal to e to the power u plus constant or x minus e to the power u is equal to constant this is the next integral that we have which we are marking as 4. So, this uh, integral is independent of the first one the first one was y by x is equal to c 1 and now this is the second integral x minus uh, e uh, x minus e to the power u is equal to constant and this constant let me call this constant as uh, c 2. So, I am giving a name to this constant. So, uh, this is uh, x minus e to the power uh, u c 2. So, this is the second integral. So, we have obtained uh, the two integrals two independent two integrals which are independent of each other and so therefore, the general solution therefore, the general solution of equation 1 the given quasi linear partial differential equation 1 is given by this was all all this was done when we were uh, doing questions based on Lagrange's method is it is given by f of uh, uh, the left hand side of the first integral the left hand side of the first integral is uh, uh, y by x comma uh, x minus e to the power u is equal to 0 where f is an arbitrary function where f is an arbitrary function. 
So, this was the general solution of the first order uh, quasi linear partial differential equation 1, but we are actually looking for, a, for the Cauchy solution of the partial differential equation 1 and Cauchy solution is that solution of the partial differential equation 1. Partial differential equation 1 is this one x uh, u x u x plus y u y is equal to x e to the power minus u. We are looking for a Cauchy solution which means that solution of this equation which satisfies this condition. So, for this uh, for finding out the Cauchy solution of course, there was no need to find out the general solution, but uh, since we had already calculated the two integrals uh, 3 and 4. Uh, so, we uh, just wrote the general solution. Now, let me uh, come to the Cauchy solution or the or solving the Cauchy problem. So, now the given uh, condition uh, the given initial condition, the given condition is uh, that u should be equal to 0 on y is equal to x square. So, using this condition I can mark this condition as 5. So, uh, using 5 uh, in integrals in integrals 3 and 4 the integrals 3 and 4 are uh, this one the first integral I have written them down on the page uh, the this is y by x is equal to c 1 this is integral 3 and the integral 4 is x minus e to the power u is equal to c 2. So, I am using uh, the condition 5 over here and let me see what do I get when I use uh, this particular condition y is equal to x square you can replace uh, y by x square over here and uh, u is equal to 0 you can replace u is equal to 0 over here and then there are two relations that you get. So, what are those two relations that we get? So, uh, y I am replacing by x square in 3. So, x square by x is equal to c 1 this is by 5 and 3 5 is the initial condition and 3 is the integral or uh, you have x is equal to c 1 this is one relation that you have which uh, I can mark as 6 and uh, again uh, uh, x minus e to the power u it was e to the power u and I am writing e to the power 0 because u is 0 is equal to c 2 this is by 5 which is the initial condition and the integral uh, this is 3 and the integral uh, 4. So, or you have something like this x is equal to e to the power 0 is 1 is equal to c 2. So, you have relations 6 and 7. Now, you have to combine these relations 6 and 7 uh, so that you get a relation between c 1 and c 2 the arbitrary constants. Now, x is coming out to be c 1. So, put the value of x over here. So, uh, by 6 and 7 by 6 and 7 we get put the value of x over here and we get c 1 minus 1 is equal to c 2. So, we always look for a solution we always look for a relation like that when we are solving a Cauchy problem we always look for a uh, look to find out a relation between the arbitrary constants. Now, this is the final relation that we have got between the arbitrary constants. Now, let me mark this as 8 and now uh, in 8 you have to put back the actual value of c 1 the actual value of c 1 uh, was uh, given by uh, 3 this is the value of c 1 and the actual value of c 2 was given by 4. So, use these two values in 8. So, using uh, using uh, 3 and 4 using 3 and 4 in 8 we get putting the value of c 1 the value of c 1 is uh, y by x minus 1 is equal to x minus e to the power u this is what we have I have put the value of c 1 over here I put, put the value of c 2 over here and now the solution has been or obtained already this is the Cauchy solution that we were looking for but uh, and we can stop over here because we have already got the Cauchy solution or we have got the solution of the Cauchy problem uh, that we were trying to solve this particular Cauchy problem uh, we were trying to solve this one. So, we have already got the solution we can stop over here but sometimes in the uh, question it is asked that you have to bring solution in a particular form. Uh, so, you can just uh, bring it again in a simplified form in the form of u is equal to something because that would that is a more appropriate form of writing the solution. So, you can just uh, uh, write the solution like this I can bring it in a uh, simplified form I can take the LCM. So, this is y minus x by x is equal to x minus e to the power u or uh, you can uh, write like this uh, y minus x by x minus x uh, is equal to minus e to the power u or uh, again I can take the LCM y minus x minus x square and uh, this is uh, a minus x square by uh, x uh, is equal to minus e to the power u and now uh, again this minus sign I can just change the uh, sign of all the terms over here. So, therefore, e to the power u uh, comes out to be equal to uh, x square plus x 
this is x square plus x minus y by x let me check this is x square plus x minus y by x this is e to the power u and now uh, raising both taking log on both the sides so this implies that uh, uh, this is going to be u log e uh, is equal to log of uh, x square plus uh, x x square plus x minus y by x or you have u is equal to log of log e is 1. So, this is going to be log of x square by x is uh, x then uh, this is plus 1 minus y by x. So, this is the solution or you can even write the solution like this u as a function of x and y is equal to log of 1 plus x minus y by x. This would be the more most appropriate form of writing the solution. So, this is the uh, solution of the Cauchy problem uh, that we were solving in the beginning uh, which is uh, a quasi linear partial differential equation of this type subject to the initial curve this and this is the uh, initial data and this is the initial condition and this uh, Cauchy uh, solution which we have obtained of the Cauchy problem in hand this is a unique solution this is uh, so every uh, uh, whatever integrals you calculate uh, because I had considered uh, two particular ratios and then I had calculated one integral and then I had considered another set of ratios and I in, uh, in the characteristic equations and then I had calculated the second integral. So, whatever combination of ratios uh, that you take uh, this uh, Cauchy solution uh, will uh, always come out to be this uh, in, in this particular uh, problem the Cauchy solution will always be this no matter what ratios you consider what combination of ratios you consider. So, Cauchy solution for a given Cauchy problem is unique. So, that was uh, all about solving uh, a Cauchy solving the Cauchy problem for a first order quasi linear partial differential equation when the initial condition is given in Cartesian form.